What is up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out another video, guys. I really appreciate that. If you could just hit that like button, that would be great. And if you're new to the channel and you want more videos on precious metals, make sure you subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell. So guys, November, we got the election. Massive, massive election. Biggest one in a very long time. And back in 2019, probably mid-year, I made a prediction along with a lot of other YouTubers and a lot of other um, precious metal experts that 2020 was gonna be a big year. Now, when I said that I had predicted 2020 to be a big year, there was no talk of a pandemic. There was you know, no possibility of it. That wasn't uh, in the equation, let's say. And on top of that, the economy getting battered the way it has, and the stimulus packages, the bailouts, we have USPS possibly going out of business. $15 billion check has been written for USPS. Insanity, a lot of stuff going on. Economy's in shambles right now. So this election is by far one of the most important ones in a very, very long time, especially for precious metals. So um, down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Please be civil with each other. I know politics, people get all crazy, but be civil, we're adults. It's meant to be a friendly debate. We gotta learn from each other, and that's how this video um, should be. It's just to learn, I'm gonna stay neutral as well. So let me know, if Trump wins, will the precious metal prices go up or down? If Biden wins, will it go up or down, and why? So uh, my personal opinion, and like I said, I want to stay very neutral through, the, through this video. That's just the way I want to do it. And I personally think that if Trump wins, I think precious metals will continue to rise, but I don't think it's going to go as far as it would if Biden were to win. And the reason why I'm saying that, if we go basic human um, behavior, change is scary. We know what we're going to get with Trump. We already know. We had him for four years. We know what he's about. We know what's gonna happen. We know pretty much his policies and everything he wants to do. We've seen it for the last four years. We know. Biden is completely different. We don't know. We don't know what he's gonna do. We don't know what he's not gonna do. It's like changing a football coach. You know, if you have a coach for a long time, you know what to expect. You know what he's about. You know what the, the things he's gonna do. You get a new coach, He's gonna to wanna to tear everything apart and start over from scratch, or is he gonna keep some of what the old coach had and kind of put his own spice to it? You get what I'm saying? Is you just don't know. So that in itself could really affect the precious metal prices. Now, I have a couple policies here. Obviously, I didn't go uh, real in depth with these. I generalized them, simplified them, just for the sake of discussion. If you wanna see the full breakdown of percentages, all this stuff uh, within these policies are all the different policies. Like I said, there's not all of them. Then you could just look online. I looked different media sources and just got some information on uh, some of the, the policies that Biden and Trump wanna do and simplified them for the sake of the video. So uh, we're gonna start off with tax. So when Trump took it, uh, got in office, he did a lot of tax cuts and establish something called the Jobs Act. That is set to expire in 2025, but if he wins, it will be extended, and that will cost us $1.5 trillion. And among other things, lots of other things, I just put a couple of them, in this bill includes repealing renewable energy tax credits and raising the IRS budget by $15 billion. So there's a lot more to that. Like I said, simplified it. I picked the two that I think might have the most um, you know, influence or whatever. So, and then we got Biden. Now Biden by far has a lot more tax policies. One of the big Democrat uh, mentalities has been to, to tax the upper, the upper class, right? The top 1%. So that's essentially what Biden is going to do. So he wants to roll back tax cuts, payroll tax to anyone making over 400K Top income tax wants to raise it from 37 to 39.6%, and also top corporations wants to raise the tax from 21% to 28%. So once again, taxing the wealthy, 
the top 1%, the big corporations, and kind of maybe, you know, redistributing that through the middle class because they want to rebuild the middle, the middle class. And another big part of the tax thing that Biden is doing is profits earned by foreign subsidiaries will be doubled to 21%. So that's another big one. Another thing that we got going on, as you guys know, Trump, China, not going good, right? China accounts for 48% of our protective medical equipment, 48%. Trump, since day one, has been all about America. Got to bring business back to America. So one of his quotes was, buy American, hire American. So he wants to start cutting back on our reliance of China. And it's caused a lot of tension. And you'll notice every time there's a media post or a, a, you know, a report of the tensions getting worse between us and China, the stock market comes down. So if you're not into stocks, but you want an idea of when to buy, just find some of those reports of anything saying that it's getting worse or something like that. And I guarantee you, you will find a buying opportunity on the stock market. So he has said that he wants to get the, the medical supplies from other countries and start bringing more of it here within the country itself too. Biden, I couldn't find anything. The only thing I saw as far as the, the issue with China and the trade war with China is he doesn't want to touch it until he takes care of other things. There's other things that he wants to prioritize before coming to any sort of agreement or discussion with China in the trade war. So um, I haven't seen any plan of action or anything to deal with China. If you guys read anything or know anything as far as his policy or what he wants to do with that, put that down in the comments, but I couldn't find anything. On top of that, which is another Democrat uh, thing, another big thing that something that Democrats wanted to do for a very long time, and that is to raise the minimum wage to $15, which could increase uh, <laughs> how much things cost, right? Make things more expensive. So that also could really affect precious metals. The increase of minimum wage could affect precious metals. And making it going up, right? So that's another one. So that's a big one right there. Now, climate change is another big thing from Democrats that they've been talking about for a very long time. Trump has no policies, no plans, doesn't believe in it, and a lot of people don't believe in it. And uh, Democrats do. They believe that there is um, some sort of climate change going on. So Trump has no policies, nothing in place in order to deal with climate change, whereas Biden has $2 trillion, a $2 trillion bill uh, proposal for infrastructure, uh, charging ports, all kinds of things. He wants to be 100% renewable energy by 2050. And that also includes, like I said, infrastructure and things like that. So once again, guys, that is a generalization simplified. If you want to see the full policy with that, you got to check online. Now, the last one on the list this is another big one because it directly affects our youth and, you know, students coming out of college, getting in these high profile jobs or uh, what have you, medical fields, uh, all kinds of things. So is the U.S. student debt. If you look at the graph for the student debt over the last 20 years, it's insane. It is sharply increasing every single year. Uh, in 2019, in the fourth quarter, they have reported $1.64 trillion worth of student debt. Now, Trump has this big proposal, a lot of percentages, a lot of time frames, a very complicated proposal. Once again, if you want to see that, uh, check that out um, online. Just look it up. But I have simplified it. The proposal itself will cut $2 billion in spending next year alone in financial aid with a, a couple of breaks for a lot of the loans too. A lot of the students uh, within time frames, certain percentages, like I said, look up the proposal and you'll see. Uh, Biden's was by far more simple. Um, he had other policies as well, but the one that stuck out was to cut $10,000 per individual, per student debt loan immediately. So that was the solution that Biden has along with other little um, breaks and things like that within 
the student loan part. So, you know, obviously our youth coming out of college and all this debt, this has been an ongoing issue for a long time. It's another really big policy and that could definitely affect precious metals, uh, you know, all this stuff. But I really believe as much as these policies will affect the price and, you know, whether it goes up, comes back down, regulates a little bit, I really have this strong feeling that it's really going to come down to not what the president is doing or whoever wins is doing. It's going to come down to very straightforwardly who is going to be in office. That's my belief. So anyways, guys, like I said, keep it civil in the comments. I don't like doing these videos, but if it gets out of hand, I will disable the comments. I will disable them. So please, you know, we're here to learn from each other, grow from each other, and discussions are healthy. That's where we learn. So let's keep it respectful and yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will talk to you guys later.